Do you want to know why I'm usually sad? The inbuilt After Effects displacement map can only do translation, and now I have a major depressive disorder. So what can you do with Displacer Pro? Besides creating epic memes, Displacer Pro was designed as a GPU accelerated transition plugin. Let me take you back four years, and I was just creating one of my first plugins, and I wanted to create a transition plugin. So for example, it could create transitions like this. And let's just call that, say, a staggered wipe with five staggers. Now, that's pretty cool, but what if we increase the stagger amount to the horizontal resolution, say 2000? Then we get a really cool warping transition, but a uh, surprise to no one, it takes forever to render because we are doing 2000 independent sub-pixel transforms. And on the CPU, that's just um, a death trap. As luck would have it, the GPU is actually very good at doing this. Using the GPU shader pipeline, which is an algorithm that's run on every single pixel independently, we can feed each different pixel a different amount of transformation. And with Displacer Pro, that amount of transformation comes from your displacement map. So whilst the CPU pipeline was ground to a halt with this, especially if we added, say, eight samples of motion blur, the GPU pipeline is perfectly suited to it. And instead of just doing a translation, we can now do a scale or a rotation as well. A feature I'm really proud of in Displacer Pro is the easing amount. It allows you to essentially take a very boring map or a very simple displacement map and really make it look interesting by adjusting the, essentially it's a gamma, it's a fancy gamma correction. It's very slow to do, very computationally wasteful. However, because it saves you time, you just supply a very basic displacement map and then you get a cool result. I think it's worth it. Something that didn't occur to me was I'm one of those weird people that prefers their displacement map to be zero transformation at black pixels and 100% transformation at white pixels. So that's how I made Displacer Pro because that felt intuitive to me. And then one day I received an email saying, hey, love the plugin, but it's really confusing me because I'm used to 50% gray being no transformation, white being 100% transformation and black being minus 100% transformation. And I thought, well, why would you want that? That sounds very unusual. And uh, he wrote back saying, well, that's just, that's how the displacement map is in After Effects and that's how it is in Blender. So that's how I'm used to it. And that's just how displacement ought to be. So unfortunately for everyone who's used to the regular displacement map and every other displacement map and every other 3D package that exists, uh, Displacer Pro will probably confuse you because it's working in a different way. So maybe we will add uh, that feature in the future, not sure. But because it seemed intuitive to me to do it this way, I'm not apologizing for inconveniencing everyone else because um, I'm the only person that matters and if it works for me, then stuff ya. Apart from that, we haven't received any other feature requests for Displacer Pro and I'm wondering, maybe that's because the plugin is so fully featured and so perfect that you can't improve on perfection or is it because that it's a free plugin and everyone is just too polite to submit a feature request for a plugin they didn't pay for? Well, I guess we'll never know. Nah, just kidding, you can send in a feature request. And this, this plugin probably can be improved, maybe. So if you've got an idea such as uh, that guy that sent me an email telling me how the plugin should actually work, then, then let me know and, and we'll see who's correct.